I need that money. I really, really do. I need that money. I, I really need that money. Really need that money. I need that money. I really, really do. I need that money. I, I really need that money. Really need that money. Really that money. That money. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. Well, today's my final streaming day of the week, and I had some interesting topics lined up for today's show. Notably, I wanted to talk about the positivity around new engagement and things that have been happening here on the channel recently. Unfortunately, it's not looking like we can talk about that today because after having only owned a gaming PC for about a week, I got a problem already. Windows Update ran last night, and I'm thinking everything's fine. Why wouldn't I let it? I boot up the PC this morning. I go to change the LED lights in the PC to actually match my setup, which I'm doing like a sky blue today. And as I'm doing this, um, I get a giant error message. Oh, oh, I can't access the driver anymore. What? And it just sits there in a loop, endlessly saying error, can't access the driver anymore for this. So my PC is currently stuck all green i can't change the color or configuration or even the way the lights move whatsoever essentially it's kind of broken um and i obviously need to fix this and the only way i'm going to do it is with your help so it looks like today's podcast is a tech troubleshooting podcast to get this working whether we fix it or we revert windows so it works before they change something whatever it is we got to get that worked out today now depending on how fast we work that out then we could figure out what it is that we else we have time for on today's show, all right? So I apologize that I'm already frustrated before we've even started. Obviously, that wasn't the intention, but there's not much I can really do about it. Uh, this is literally one of the reasons why I stayed a console gamer as long as I did, because not even a weekend already, a stupid problem rears its head, and there's nothing I can do about it besides look to you guys for help. So I'll be right back with a tech support episode of the Level 1 Podcast. All right, so to be quite frank, before we even jump into anything on this show, we should do this, right? I hope that you know, there's some people in the chat that were talking. It seems like they kind of know how to help. So I want to show you. Let's, let's do this. Let's just do it. Let's jump right into it, okay, everybody? So let's go to my desktop. All right, I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. So here we are. I'm just going to get rid of this border. Okay. This is my desktop on my computer. Last night, as I was finishing my late stream, all I did is I said, I want to shut down the PC. So I came down here and I said, okay, shut down. And when it said shut down, it had options. It said update and shut down, meaning it ran a Windows update. And I said, yes, okay, let's do that. Let's run the Windows update while I'm, you know, not using it overnight. And then tomorrow we'll boot it up and we'll use it. Fine. So I just booted it up. All right. And... First thing I do whenever I, I boot up my PC is I want to change the colors. I want it to match. You know, right now it's bright green with this configuration from yesterday's stream. Well, I want it to be blue for behind me. I have this nice sky blue today, and that's what I want the configuration to be. Actually, I'm wondering why. I wonder why right here it looks kind of greenish. Maybe it's because it's actually picking up the color of the PC. It actually could be. Um, because it looks blue on my wall. Anyway. So. I said, here we go. Let's go ahead and change the colors of the PC, which is this application uh, right here. This always happens. It pops up and asks, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? And you say, yes. See? And uh, for the record, 
I already went to the website of the manufacturer. I re-downloaded this program. I reinstalled it, ran it, and it's doing exactly the same thing because this program hasn't been updated since September of 2023. So obviously, if there's a Windows update that screwed the program up, then it's not going to work. See? Oh, so, and see, here's the thing. Now it's trying to run again, and you get the same error. And if I just keep hitting OK, it literally just keeps trying to run endlessly and gives me the error over and over and over. OK? So I have no ability to control any of the lights on my PC, and I have an endless loop of errors. The only way to close this is to control alt delete go to my task manager and actually like manually shut down the app because here it is so i have to manually shut it down and now it should stop doing it okay so what do you guys think i've already reinstalled the program and it fixed nothing okay so what do you guys recommend do you think that there is is it just this program sucks this RGB program, is there a better RGB program I can use to control all the fans in my computer, in which case I'd like to use that? Or should I do something different? Because I have absolutely no clue how to approach this problem. The RGX says, from what, what I can see, the program's just crap. Get signal RGB instead. Oh, yeah. Goldfish, this is literally just a shortcut to this. They're exactly the same thing. See, it's, that should mean shortcut. This is the actual program, so just ignore that. <clears throat> Signal RGB, should we get that? I could try, let's see. Get rid of all these. This is where I, I downloaded the, uh, the program again. All right, here it is, Signal RGB. <clears throat> One for all. Yes, your cookies. Download now. Try it. Let's. I wonder how many lights are on my thing that I can control with this thing. Lady Christmas says, Signal RGB is what I use. It's very good. Okay. Uninstall the current RGB software first. How would I do that? There's Signal RGB, right? How do I uninstall this one? That doesn't work. <clears throat> uh... I have no clue how to do this on Windows 11. I'm all new to this. Completely new to it. Do I go to settings? Is there programs in there? How do you get the programs in Windows 11? <clears throat> oh, just use the search bar and type uninstall. Oh, okay. Okay. Add or remove programs. Oh, cool. All right, here it is. So just get rid of this. If that's the case, why is this still here? Look. It says it uninstalled it yet. It's still here. What the hell? Can I uninstall anything else? Is it down here? Is it here a second time somewhere? This is very weird. Why would it be showing again? Look. That's just the shortcut. I can delete that. Let's find out. Okay, good. It doesn't exist. I can delete this. All right. Okay, now let's install Signal RGB. That's great that the one that the manufacturer provides to you is a piece of shit. <laughs> one week into owning the PC, the whole thing goes, goes crazy and doesn't work. That's great. Okay. Terms of service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What just happened? Oh. Just accept. You're just going crazy. Look at that. A ring of chaos. Ooh, I can tell you it's doing something because the lights just all changed to white. So that's neat. Get started. So, my installed effects. Ooh. 
Solid color, side to side, rainbow neon shift. Okay, how does this work? How does this wait? How the fuck does this work? What is it? Get out of here. Get why is this why isn't I even fitting my screen? It's way too big. I can't read the screen. I can't read it, you fucking dumb app. Stop with this bullshit. I can't read your tutorial because the app is not fitting my monitor, you dunce. Look at this. I can't even get out of here. How dumb is this? It doesn't even fit the screen. <laughs> it doesn't even fit the fucking screen, you idiot. How the fuck do I get this to fit my screen? Look, it's I can't. I can't. Every time I click, it just opens another thing. Oh my god. Waiting to sign in. I'm not trying to sign in. Fuck these fucking computer app bullshit. These fucking idiotic. End fucking task, you dumb fucking thing. God damn, these fucking things drive me nuts. They're trying to drive me nuts. Oh my god. At least I got my, my lights now white. They're all solid white. Okay. Look at this. It doesn't fit my screen. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Can I please have this fit my screen so I could do something with it? What am I supposed to do? Why does it not fit? What dunce made this? Look, everything else fits. But not this app. This app's too big. How the fuck do I get this so it's not full screen? I can't even... Look, I can't even move around it. Windows key and left arrow. What the fuck does that mean? Look. <laughs> Okay, if you mash Windows key and left arrow together, it does this. Okay. Thank you. Wow, that was genius level fucking programming right there. Well, because it's free, there's an ads that are going to play, huh? So I basically could do a whole bunch of shit. Let's, let's see here. So it says free. I want to see what's free. These are what's free. Community created. Holy shit, biohazard? Look at all these. Get this fucking ad out of my face. Um... I don't want an audio visualizer as of yet, but it could that could be cool later. <clears throat> uh, so let's see. If I go, why is it not? Why is there no solid color? Oh, there's so many. Oh, good lord, there's a lot, huh? Whoa! All right, I'm just gonna try one. Let's try liquid. Yeah. Oh, you have to make an account and everything to do this. All right, hold on. I guess I'll make an account. Uh, create an account. Since the app is open source, you get a lot more options. The Windows update bricked the ASRock RGB software. You can download the beta drivers from ASRock and it fixes it. They are named ASRock Polychrome RGB, blah, blah, blah. So someone already found out. Yeah, it's, it's true. This is what happened. Well, I'm going to try using this one. Let's see how this works. <clears throat> I hit create account and it did nothing. It disappeared. It fucking closed the window. I'm serious. Okay. It's going to send a verification email. Here it is. All right, I just verified. All right, so now, hold on. So let's see. I want to try one. Like, let's, let's try liquid. I hit get. No. <sighs> Literally haven't used it yet. Okay, installing effect liquid. Okay, so now the lights turned blue. So how do I do stuff with this? How would I see how this works? 
Customize the liquid effect. Rippling reactive waves. It's not rippling. Everything just turns sky blue. Incidentally, that's the color I wanted. I wanted it to be sky blue for today to match my background. So now it does. But how does this work? Uh, wave color, wave width. There's no wave at all. It's not doing a wave. It's just solid blue. How is this supposed to be waving? It's not waving at all. I don't get it. You, this would change the color. Uh, no. Not changing the color. Nope. It's just staying solid blue. It hasn't changed the color whatsoever in the lights. Nope. It didn't, it's, it's not doing anything. So how, This doesn't work. Yeah, I'm doing this. It does nothing. It's just staying sky blue. That's the color it is, and it's just not affecting anything. Anyone use this and know what the hell I'm doing right now? This does, nothing works. It's not working. This is wave width. This doesn't. There's no waves. It's not. It's a solid blue. Click side to side. Whoa, 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 that's wild. It was white and it transitioned slowly to gold. Now it's transitioning slowly to blue. Oh, that's neat. That's neat. I like that effect. Yeah, it's working. It is. It's just, it's going these waves of color. That's neat. Oh, I like that. I guess what you do is you pick two, you pick colors to go between and it goes back and forth between the two. Yeah, guys, I don't know what to tell. How, how would I show you this? How could I possibly do this besides fucking my webcam up? You know? I don't know how I would show you. I'm not hooking up. Do you really think I'm going to hook up another webcam and it's going to work? Are you crazy? If you want, I could try to rotate the camera around, but I don't know how it's going to work. You guys want to see it? Okay. <clears throat> hey, uh, enjoy your ban. And seriously, I mean it. Anyone who's going to come in here and be toxic and negative, just, just get banned now and speak up so I can ban you now so I don't have to listen to you ever again, you fucking toxic retards. Seriously. I'm just tired of these fucking people coming in here and saying this stuff. Like, why don't you do this before the stream? Why don't you do this before the stream? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You're a waste of life. No one cares about you. Shut up. Stop. Okay. Um. I, mean, I can try to get the camera pointing at the PC so you guys can see it. Because it looks pretty neat, actually. I actually like how this is working. This particular one is actually nice. Let's see. Darn, that's as low as I can get it. Yes, hold on. I guess I could try to manually do it, so hold on. I could try to manually get the camera to aim down so you guys can see better. Hold on. Uh, webcam. Here you go. That's the best I can do. The problem is the camera's not going to pick it up nicely, you know? But you see that? It changed. It changed over. Let me try some different ones. Um, neon shift. Okay, so now it's all pink, as you can see. Ooh, and then it shifted to purple. That's cool. Oh, see, this is nice. The neon shift works nicely. I like that. Everyone, Dark Side Phil here. The only detractor channel that I watch is Doody Streams.